approached me end of last year, um, talking about the project for the following year. Um, not sure whether I was going to retire or not then. Um, I obviously had a keen interest in wanting to design it. Um, I think it's a, it's a great honour to design the first jersey um, for Melbourne, the Pride jersey. Um, so that kind of, it was a lot harder than what I thought. I thought it would be simply just put these graphics on and off we go, but it was definitely a lot harder. It took a few, I think, back and forth um, to, get it, to get it finished, but I'm definitely pleased with the results. The rainbow obviously is the, the main um, part of the jersey. It's, I obviously didn't want to take anything away from Melbourne, the actual jersey itself, um, because I obviously know that a lot of these girls are wearing the Melbourne jersey and that's like already, you know, you should be proud to wear that jersey. So I didn't want to take away from that. Um, so I just want to incorporate the rainbow in a, in a, a nice way. Um, I wanted something to create something that the girls will be proud to wear. Um, I think it's easy just to like throw these colours on and think that it's going to look great for everyone, but you've got to understand that at the end of the day, the girls are still playing for Melbourne. Um, and then the fingerprints, I just kind of wanted to incorporate the, the fact that there's 30 fingerprints on there. So each girl, you know, is going to leave their mark on the community, um, whether they're still playing, whether they're finished playing. So it's just important that they, you know, remember that and highlight that significant factor. We're no different to anyone else. I don't think any club, uh, I think it's a pride round so everyone needs to get involved. Um, you know, obviously every club does it a little bit differently. This is our first year having the jersey, but um, I think it's important for everyone to see that we are supportive um, and that we do, you know, understand the, the struggles and the ups and downs of that community. Um, so I think it's just a, a highlight that we're all behind them and we have Melbourne are showing their support to the wider community. I'm extremely proud. I think um, I had a few girls message me about it and it's uh, really nice to know that as much as I have retired um, or finished playing at Melbourne, it's still nice to leave a little bit of a legacy there and I think the girls are really proud to, to want to wear it and that's my whole, the whole design process was about making sure they wanted to wear it and not just taking that away from them playing for Melbourne. So um, no, I'm extremely proud of it. I think, like I said, it's the first jersey that we've had. Um, so I'm definitely still a big part of the club still. Um, so hopefully I get the W and then everything will be sweet. <laughs>